Welcome to Club Travel. Welcome to Pub Travels. We are at Craft Urban in Aurora, Illinois. Um, I'm having a uh, an ale with coffee and pumpkin called a Dark Gourd. Very nice. Had a little sip before we turn the camera on. Donna's having a cider. Yeah. It's a dry style, dry cider, right B cider out of Chicago. We're actually here on a Saturday morning. Yes, it's still morning. Starting early. We're starting early. It is Saturday. Hashtag chef stay off. All right, we are here because they do a brunch. Just saw this on one of the social media outlets that um, they're promoting their, <clears throat> their Saturday brunch. So we order the Kraft Butter, house-made cheddar biscuits, honey butter and jalapeno jam and crispy cheese curds, tempura style, house pickles, honey mustard. And we ordered the Korean chicken sandwich, which is marinated chicken thigh, kimchi, aioli. David Ritz. Yes, it's, it's definitely right up my alley. So we're gonna go ahead and hang out here a little bit and see where the day takes us. Thanks for watching Pub Travels. Yes, so they were closed, they just opened today. They were doing some renovations. So we're uh, kind of happy to come and come check it out. I didn't get a big view of the kitchen, but they've got a, a nice full kitchen. Yeah, so come on out, check out Craft Urban in Aurora, Illinois. I dig it. It's got a, got a nice vibe. I could hang out here. Yeah, so there's a couple probably local artists. I wonder if a local artist did that big mural on the wall here on that yeah. side there and then going up the stairway. Uh, but some local artists where you can purchase their artwork. So they're doing some kind of 420 get melty kind of thing. Oh yeah, we, we thought the farmer's market was gonna be open. It, le it looked like it was open online. We drive over here, we park in the public parking area. Actually, we parked exactly where the farmer's market usually is. All right, cheers with a dark gourd and dry cider. See, I'm starting my day with the coffee. Coffee and pumpkin. Yeah. Thank you. All right, food has arrived. Let's take a quick zip with the camera around here. What were these, Donna? Cheese curds with house pickles, biscuits, house butter, jalapeno jam, Korean chicken sandwich. The Korean chicken sandwich looks really good. All right, food has arrived. We've got cheese curds with a honey mustard. Light batter. Yeah, they're such a nice light batter. I think that they probably do them in house. Oh yeah. They're really good. This is not like some of the pickles are, are with the cheese curds. Yeah, so the house pickles come with the cheese curds, which are actually attached and fried. Yeah. 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 So these are great, actually. Very nice, like that. Curds are really good. There's pickles. The house pickles. Mm. House pickles. It's very good. House made cheddar biscuits, which are really pretty. They're big, but gorgeous base biscuits. Cut mine in half here. And there's a house made butter. Spread that butter on there real good. Alright, I'm gonna try it with the the jalapeno jam. 
Yeah, Donna's not gonna have the jalapeno jam, I'm sure. Oh, I can smell it. Fresh jalapenos. Okay, here we go. Very good. Butter's really nice. Almost looks like there's mustard seeds in there. In the butter. But the jalapeno and the biscuit and the butter together, so nice. That's good. Right. That's good. A little beer. All right, let's get into this Korean chicken sandwich. Chicken thighs, I love chicken thighs. Don't know why. I know, I don't know why more restaurants don't go to chicken thighs on chicken sandwiches. If I had my own restaurant, you do chicken thighs. Let's check this one. I'm going in on this Korean chicken sandwich. Nice brioche bun. Mm. Kimchi aioli, pickles, looks like some cabbage, like a cabbage slaw. That's delicious. It's really good. Doesn't like jump out with a ton of flavor, but the flavors together. And the chicken pie is really nice. It was really good. Alright, back to these cheese curds. So we've got mixed in with the cheese curds is pick, pickled vegetables. You can actually see that they've been fried together and battered together. This is a red onion. Mm, delicious. That is the right bee cider, dry, hard apple cider. And I don't really like ciders, but that I could drink. It's, it's not as sweet. Because it is dry, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like apple juice, just like you said. Right. All right, so Donna brought up a pretty a couple of pretty good points that this is a really nice option here because it says craft urban. You almost think that there's going to be a lot of craft beers, and there are. It's a really nice craft beer selection in bottles and cans. But they also have eight beers on draft. But they also have a full bar here with spirits, wine. Yeah, everything is definitely a little bit more upscale. So very, very cool, very, very valid point. Definitely seem like the house cut potatoes. I'm gonna try it with the butter from the biscuits. Mm, fries and butter. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone picked it up. Donna said that was gross. It's actually really good. Thank you very much. Looks delicious. You can never go wrong with a Guinness. it anyway. What? I'm gonna drink it anyway. But make it, make it settle into its perfect state. Drink it before the perfect state. This is what happens when we start drinking before noon. I'm tired. Oh, and she's tired. All right, thanks for watching Pub Travels. We were just at Craft Urban in Aurora, Illinois. It's a really cool little place. Highly recommend checking it out. They were just closed for a couple weeks for some renovations. We did some new floors, some work in the kitchen. Uh, really cool menu. The menu changes quite frequently. Uh, super nice people. Uh, our bartender was awesome, super sweet. The uh, owner manager was talking about their menu. I'd asked, what is your regular menu like? We're actually here for, for brunch. Really nice, some cool brunchy types of things. Really nice things on the menu. But their everyday menu changes seasonally. You know, I love restaurants that, that do that. 
Uh, so they're shifting from their kind of cold weather menu to a more summery type of menu. Uh, a cool patio area. You can actually see the kitchen through the window of the patio. Nice big stove there. A cool place, highly recommend it. Based on the menu uh, and the seasonality of the menu, we will definitely be back. Um, thanks for watching Pubs Rattles. Please click like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe, we could really use your support. Thanks again.